Good afternoon. This is Friday, March 27th. I'm Gary Pace, the County Public Health Officer, and we are here to give the daily coronavirus update. Here with me is Priscilla Morales, who will provide Spanish translation in a separate video, and we also have closed caption on YouTube. So the current numbers, U.S. cases, 97,000, deaths almost 1,500. California cases are 4,400 with 90 deaths, 1,400 cases in the Bay Area. A recent outbreak amongst the medical staff at Laguna Honda Hospital is causing some increases there. Sonoma County has 49 cases, Mendocino two cases, Napa seven cases. Lake County continues to have no confirmed cases and we are one of only 14 counties in the state of 58 counties without a confirmed case. So the situation is continuing to escalate. I encourage people to continue to watch New York City and the Bay Area to get a sense of what may lie down the road in the future. Concern has continued to increase as the number of infections rise and the healthcare system gets stressed in those areas. Today I want to talk about who is at risk. A recent report shows that seniors count for 30% of all the cases, 45% of all the hospitalizations, 53% of the ICU admissions, and 80% of the deaths associated with COVID-19. People with underlying chronic medical conditions like diabetes and heart disease and lung disease are also at increased risk, whatever their age. Although we have no confirmed cases here yet, the risk is rising since there is so much activity in the region. We strongly encourage people 65 years and older or who are otherwise vulnerable to take special precautions. They should stay home, not socialize, and not travel. If someone in the household becomes sick, they should take special care to stay away from these vulnerable people. If you are an elder and you need things from out in the community, like food, it is strongly encouraged to ask friends or family to help out and get it for you. Some of the senior centers have volunteers who can help or know of organizations who can support you. Aiming to stay home for the next month or so may save your life. We appreciate your cooperation. For more info, go to the Health Department website. There's also an email address there and a phone number that we are answering during business hours. We are also going to have a virtual town hall meeting next Tuesday at 6 p.m. that should be running live uh, through the county uh, website. If you have questions that you would like to have answered, email them into our Mohawk website or to our Mohawk email or to the uh, county page. Thank you.